Good afternoon and welcome to Uniquely Urbandale. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Mary Harkin, our co-host, is here. We will speak to her in just a little bit about what's going on at your chamber. It is your chamber, right? You belong? No, no, no. You don't have to be in Urbandale. There are many, many people who belong to the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce who have no brick and mortar in Urbandale. Yeah, I'll tell you why you should think about it in a minute. Right now, let me introduce you to Shalena. Did I get it right? You did. Okay, good. Uh, Chamberlain Lang. And she has a business called Runway Model and Talent. And it's uh, located here in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, there's a lot of different things that uh, you can hire. You can hire your talent. Yes. For commercial printing, editorial, catalog, on camera, promotional talent. I would imagine that's like a, a show, like a uh, some type of, what is it? Promotional talent can range anywhere from a sporting event. You need people to pass out uh, giveaways, coupons, or to work a trade show booth and represent your business. That's what I was trying to think Yes. Of. There you go. All right. Lots of ways you can uh, hook up with uh shalena and uh one of the ways is you can go to her um website at runaway i'm sorry runway model and talent.com correct so go to runway model and talent.com so where's where where are you from where's home uh home for me is tampa florida oh my yes what got you to des moines iowa a guy Oh, I'm sorry. There's not enough time for that story. Yeah, we and we're icky boys. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't your mama teach you icky boys? And how long have you been here then? 16 years. Oh, my. Yes. So you must like it here. I do. What, what's, uh, what's better about Iowa than Florida? The people of Iowa are just so genuine. Um, they're warm. They really care about you and your business and helping you grow. Um Florida is great, and I like to visit, but I would not want to settle down. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems very um, – let, let me make a positive out of this. Iowa seems very personal. Yes, I would agree. Florida, the East Coast, the West Coast, very impersonal. Yes. Um, uh, I, I still can say hi to somebody in a grocery store, and they'll say hi back, and eye contact will be met and things like that. Yes. So what made you want to get into the runway business with models and talent? Um, it was by accident, as most great things are. Yes. Uh, I own an event management company, and I had a prom show. And in the process, I was finding some amazing talent throughout Iowa. And I had all this great talent and not another resource to help them pursue the modeling and acting. Um, so I developed Runway Model and Talent three and a half years ago. Now, if I, if I remember... Uh, we don't have a lot of quality talent agencies here in central Iowa anymore. I am not 100% sure of that, of you know what other agents there are. There is not a lot in Iowa. I mean, there's a lot of agents from larger markets that come here and look for talent. Right. Um, obviously, I'm right here so I can help them start those careers, but yet can still get them to that large market. Yeah, how, many, how many times do you have a parent? We'll start with parents. Yeah come to you and say i think my child is the most beautiful child on the face of this <laughs> earth and they definitely should be modeling on a daily basis really okay yes. good even sundays even sundays <laughs> yeah the sabbath gosh darn it yeah so what do you do when that happens um the process for us starts with an interview we want to meet them in person um we're not going to say no to anyone a lot of people have questions well am i tall enough well why don't you come in the office and let us meet let's find out your personality let's Check out your attributes. How tall are you? Um, facial features and so forth, body type, and find out what is going to work best. Uh, is being a model in your future? Is being an actor or actress in your future? Um, some people have their heart set on being a model, and that's what they really want. But at the same time, I'm going to be very honest with them. If you're 18 years old and you're a female and you're only five five, mm -mm. You're, it's not going to happen. No, so, no, no, short women in modeling anymore it depends on what they're looking for but usually no okay um the designers have something very specific in mind so it's not because they're not amazing 
It's the designer has a very strict uh, recommendation of what they want. We're talking to Shalena Chamberlain Lang, and she is the owner and proprietor of Runway Model and Talent. Anything you would uh, need a model or talent for, uh, Shalena can provide that for you. Um, Now, you said personality. And when I think of model, I think of visual only. Am I incorrect on that? You know, back in the 80s, I would say yes. That, oh, that is very the true. 80s. <laughs> oh, man, how long ago was that? Eons, right? Right, right. Um, the market has changed. Uh, thanks to social media and people being able to go online and train themselves on how to be a model, it's even more competitive. So a pretty girl with the right features is a dime a dozen. Do they have a great personality? Can they look someone in the eye, shake a hand, um, be able to carry on a conversation? Um, If they can't do that, they may be left behind for someone else. So it does matter. Absolutely. It does matter. Yeah. Now, how about acting? Acting, you know, uh, that is a little bit more forgiving. Because for acting, you don't need to be a certain weight, height, features. There's such a thing as a character actor. Um, so you're, you're going to play a part for just a certain ca- character opposed to being the girl next door. Now, Shalina, do you, Shalina, sorry, do you like go to a uh, community theater or things like that and scout for a- talent? Absolutely. Yeah, I bet when they know you're in the audience, it makes them nervous. <laughs> they don't know I'm there. <laughs> oh, don't bet on that. <laughs> don't bet on that. I was a uh, I was a uh, uh, reviewer for restaurants for many years, and I used to think, well, I'm I'm in radio. Nobody knows what I look like. I can sneak in. They knew every time. Yeah. And it, it went throughout the restaurant that the guy from Date Book is here. So, um, so tell me the type of parent you want to work with. Wow, that's a that's a great question. Uh, the type of parent is going to be a supportive parent. Um, understand that this takes hard work. Um, it's also going to take money. Um, this is not uh, America's Next Top Model, and all those myths that are out there are not necessarily true. Um, but at the same time, to be real and um, appreciate that I'm going to be honest. What's the difference between supportive and helicopter? Helicopter is a parent that is just pushing, pushing uh, the model or the actor, and they may not want to go that direction. All right. I mean, oftentimes I have got to pull a model or actor aside and just ask them, is this what you want to do? If you don't, I'm not upset, but let's fill in your parent. Yeah. So we can stop wasting everybody's time and resources. I bet that's not a happy conversation with mom or dad, is it? It's It's hard. Sometimes you have parents that want it more than uh, the kids. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just tell those uh, parents that maybe right now is not the right timing for them. So let's all walk away and still remain friends. And then if they come back to you and say they want to pursue it again, then let's look at it again. Do, do today's parents vicariously live through their children sometimes? Are, are there parents out there who vicariously live through their children? I, I believe Yes. I think there's a little bit of everything. I have the parents that that do that. And then I also have the parents that want to provide and do everything they they can because they didn't have it. And then I have parents that are just hands off and are fine. You do whatever you want. You just tell me where to sign and and I'm good to go. And that worries me a little, too, because I want them to be involved. Someone needs to be there when that model or actor has a win and we celebrate together. And if we don't have a win... You know, we might cry together. Some support. Yeah. Now, I focused a lot on children. Yes. Um, Let's talk about, um, oh, I don't know, old guys with gray hair who have a (laughs) pot belly. Love them. Is there work out there for a guy like me? Absolutely. (laughs) Doing what? Um, You're going to be more. And I'm not, I don't want to be Santa Claus at Christmas. (laughs) No, no, no. Uh, Santa's, we don't book Santa's. Okay, good. There's a special department for that. I see. Um, (laughs) But what we are looking for in that uh, real people category is the John Deere's of the world. Uh, You turn on the TV and you're looking at grocery store commercials or convenience store commercials. They need real people. I mean, it's not all models that go to Casey's. Right. Um, yeah, so right. we need to have. And the smiles in every aisle sometimes are fake. I don't know. I think they're all high V employees, but that's okay. okay. You know, they got to promote from within. All right. 
<laughs> I get that. But yeah, so we're going to need real people for commercials, uh, for TV show extras, for movie extras. And yes, that stuff happens in Iowa, in the oh, Midwest. Yeah. So you just never know what you might need. And I have to have a little bit of everything. So when that, you know, we just did a lot of stuff for uh, a, com- or a hospital here in town. And I had to have everything from an infant to grandma and grandpa. Yeah. And I have to be able to go to my boards and say, yep, I can give you the option of, I have five grandpas, five grandmas, and three babies. Pick. Pick from there. Yeah. Uh, There's often times that I'll be speaking to someone and I recognize a really good voice. Yes. What do you look for when you're, when you're, again, not, not 18 and blonde and. Right. A grandpa or a grandma or a mom. What do you what are you looking for that attracts you? Um, they're gonna have a great personality. They're gonna glow. The people who you walk into a room and they just light it up and you're like, oh my gosh. Yep, we're gonna be attracted to their personalities. Um, they're gonna have great skin. They're gonna take very good care of themselves. They're gonna be dressed very nice. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Mary. I'm deep. You don't take guys in black shorts. Black shorts are fine. Okay. All right. Good. Um, so think of someone, and you don't have to give me their name. Okay. But someone who absolutely amazed you beyond your expectations. Somebody that you that came to you, you trained, yeah, you coached, and they just turned out a star. You know, it's. I I want to say it happens every day. I have some amazing talent and they often come to me with no training. And, um, I have one little girl. Um, she, she, yeah, she was a little wild thing. God love her. But you know, when you're four, that's what, what happens. And, um, we've had to have some adult conversations of now, listen, if I get you this gig at target, you can't jump on the couch, okay? Yeah. Like, we have to behave. No Tom Cruise on Oprah. We <laughs> right. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, we're not there yet. Yeah. Like, maybe in 10 years. Yeah. So, we talked through those things, and I talked to her. I asked her mom for permission, and can I talk to her as an adult? And, and she said yes. I said, could you bring her in? And she understood. They loved her. And then she booked Von Marr. Mm. <laughs> I don't get clients that call me and say, hey... They were a pleasure to work with. We were so excited, and we'd like to rebook her. But she did on that one. Yeah. Right. Von Mar doesn't even call me to book. She emails me, <laughs> but she called and said she was amazing. Wow. So um, those are the successes. I get goosebumps just thinking about it because yeah. that's what you do, and you want to help change people's lives. But really, they're, you're just their coach. Like They're the make or break. What, what, how would you define success for you? For you? Success for me is finding that talent and helping them through the process and getting them in the right direction. And then they hit it out of the park. Okay. Like I'm the tool, I'm the mechanism to get them there, but I can't make them want it. You teach them the skills. They've got to have natural talent. Right. Okay. All right. So, um, can I give the phone number here? You can absolutely. 515-421-4205. And it's runway model and talent. Dot com. It's here in central Iowa. And I'm going to challenge you, okay? You're a mom, you're a dad, you're an aunt, you're an uncle, you're a grandma, you're a grandpa, you're a sibling, and you know somebody that might have that sparkle, might have that shine. Those are the people you want to take and introduce them to this young lady. Because I know you love them. You're supposed <laughs> to love them. But if Shalena can love them and see what you see in them, then that could be a prosperous and um, very rewarding career. It is. For someone. Yeah. Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. You bet. I appreciate it. All right. Let's switch over here to the boss. Tuesdays, 9 o'clock in the morning. You got your Chef Boy RD hat on. <laughs> You're making goulash all day long, <laughs> and you serve it with Friedrich's Coffee. Boy, that sounds delicious. And if that doesn't trip your trigger, we do have a wonderful Friedrich's Coffee served yes. at the Chamber called Meet the Chamber every Tuesday, 9 to 10 a.m. at the Chamber office in Urbandale. And we welcome anyone who would like to learn more about the Chamber, more about benefits, and how they can grow their business. It's so exciting to hear Shalina's story and kind of what she's been through to build her her business and her brand locally. And the, th- the way she gets to change people's lives through her business 
we want to help businesses like that yeah. succeed. And it's so exciting to have this opportunity to kind of hear more about her business and more in depth. So you don't have to make an appointment. You don't have to get trapped in your office. You don't have to go <laughs> somewhere else. If you don't like what you hear, you can walk out at any time. Check them out. The chamber office is on 100th Street. And uh, I'm sure if you called Mary and set up a private appointment at your bricks and mortar, she'd come to you or your home office or Panera or Friedrichs, wherever you're comfortable meeting, or show up at 10 o'clock, or I'm sorry, 9 o'clock on Tuesday morning, and you can do Meet the Chamber for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. Mary, thank you very much for being here. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. This is Uniquely Urbandale.